Hi, one of the most important parts of how to get paid is organizing your invoicing, keeping track of what's owed to you and due and all this stuff as you've seen in the previous videos. So let's talk about an accounting system. Personally, I'm not a big fan of using Excel spreadsheets and paper invoices in Word. You could also do it in Google Docs and, and Google Sheets. I would prefer that you use something that has a little bit more of a seriousness to it so that all of your accounting isn't flying around in the cloud somewhere or on a hard drive that might die. Um, instead, why not use FreshBooks? So I'm going to do a little tutorial. Uh, I used FreshBooks for four years. And one of the things I like about FreshBooks is that they price based upon your um, your needs, you know. Oops, that's Screencast-O-Matic. <laughs> they price um, based upon your needs. And you can have five billable clients. So if you're just now starting and you only have five clients, you can do it for $13.50 a month. Most freelancers don't have more than 50 billable clients, okay? So you can try that and you can um, even do a little demo, right? If you want to pay by month, then it's $15.25, but if you pay by year, then it's that's the incentive, right? So I like that they allow you to pay um, by, by this, this method. All of them allow you to do things you need to do. Um, you can have five clients and send invoices as many times as you want for the first plan. Then it goes to 50. Um, it allows you to track expenses and send estimates. Estimates are super important. So one of the great things about FreshBooks is that it allows you to send an estimate, the client can accept it, and then it will prompt you to convert that into an invoice. Very easy. Um, you get notifications when you're paid, you can set it up with PayPal, Stripe, whatever. So let's start our little free trial, okay? So I'm gonna do get paid at bridgerbuller.com. It wants me to verify my email, so that's why I have this open. So now we're now we're saying, okay. So we are uh, in marketing. Um, this is just their demographic. Um, it doesn't really matter. Let's just say we think we're gonna make under thirty thousand. What did you, what do you use to build your customers? Spreadsheets, anything, another account. Right now, let's just say you're using Word documents and spreadsheets. Okay. Don't go, don't haunt me. Access. Continue. Is in the way. Just me. Continue. I'm all set. So now we're we're less than five minutes, and we've got we're in. Okay. So let's do um, let's add our brand. So I'm going to select my logo, which is on my desktop, in my how to get paid folder. I'm going to choose a green theme color. Okay. 
and let's see. Let's add a client. You can import it if you like. I'm going to add myself. Because it'll be easier. All right, now this is where I can, oops, when I go back to my client, I can decide, okay, what do I, do I want a recurring template? Do I have invoices? Do I have credits? What's going on with this person, right? So let's, oh, let's get my face out of the way. Let's create a new proposal. This is one of my favorite things about FreshBooks. I mean, it looks good, you know? So collections for past due. Okay, so I'm gonna add a line. I'm gonna say um, B2B collections, 35%. So um, startup fee. So I'm gonna do collections for Bridget. I'm just gonna charge her $250. That's like my retainer. And uh, let's, I'll put that in. And on these invoices, uh, if she gets paid, then I'll do that. Um, no refunds, estimate, good, oops, 30 days, right? Does this work for you? Okay, now I can send it. So I'm gonna send it to her and it'll show me, show me what the email looks like. Bridget Willard sent your proposal. So I can add it here and say, um, does 35 work? Okay, and I send it. Now you can change little things or whatever. Huzzah, it's been sent. So I can look at it and it tells me the history, right? This is so cool. So it says I created it, I said I sent it, and does it work, right? Now I'm gonna go in my email just to show you what it looks like when you get an invoice. So I have this invoice from Bridget Willard LLC, um, how to get paid. Does this work? And I can view it. This is what your customer is gonna see, okay? Your customer is gonna log in and this is what they're gonna see. Oops. Oh, it's mad at me because I'm in, I'm in this to me ways. Uh, view in incognito. So this is the this is the invoice that was sent to me, and maybe I'm like, uh, that seems high. I thought we agreed to 25%. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna reply, Let's see what happens. I know that I've seen these. I, I just stopped using FreshBooks for favor of um, zero. Okay, let's see, get paid. So what happens when you just start doing tutorials? <laughs> I do love FreshBooks though. It's really great. So let's see. Oh, I didn't upload my logo. That's another thing we can do. So you can change all your email settings, your notification settings. Where's, where's my logo? Hmm, 
that's where. Okay, well that's what you do when you do it. Now I've got a dashboard in my dashboard. Um, I have, let's see, I have an estimate, right? And let's say, oh yeah, okay, so it was viewed. It tells me it was viewed. This is really important. Okay, so maybe the way I did it didn't work, but it tells you it's been viewed. So if I write to her, to her again, she'll get it by email, you know? And so that's important. But maybe she called me up. Let's say she called me up, she goes, that's fair. So I'm going to accept it, okay? Now that's in the history. You accepted this proposal. If it was my client, they would say that. Now I can convert it to an invoice. It automatically converts it to an invoice. I make sure that I have my terms. Prepaid, or it's not prepaid, 35% uh, upon payment will be due. No refunds, but thank you, All right? So, accept online payments. I want to accept online payments. So we can um, get started with that, but that would be another pr proposal. I mean, another tutorial. So I'm just gonna throw this on here. FreshBooks payments is what we pay. And the first time it takes about two or three days for it to go to your bank. Um, so it's been, it's been sent. I can view the invoice. We will know uh, when, it, when anybody views it. When I go to my dashboard, it's gonna show that I have $250 outstanding. Um, I can automatically include, um, connect my bank, which I used to do. Um, and see payments and I really 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 love uh, the dashboard and everything about FreshBooks but when I changed to an LLC I wanted a clean break so that's less than 15 minutes how to set up except for connecting your bank you're gonna need your routing number and all of that it may ask you to verify a couple of deposits so as soon as you've decided to do this, then do it a little bit of ahead of time. Um, and the cool thing, one of the other cool things is if that's, if you have a similar line item every time, it saves it. It's so cool. So let me know if you've tried FreshBooks. I would love to know. And thanks for watching. Bye.